Hey, it's Tirzu. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of a challenge run on Minecraft, just seeing how quickly we can find diamond. Completely random seed. Let's go. So, first thing we're going to need is a lot of wood. I'm talking about massive amounts of wood. Massive wood. Okay, so in reality, it's less than a full stack, actually, but that's still multiple trees. Also notice it didn't give me the achievement when I got the first piece of wood. Maybe they think it's too childish. Can't have that in our Christian Minecraft server. No siree. Alright, make this a little bit faster. Make a crafting table. What bit then? Plop it down, make some sticks, and make an X. And away we go. Back to business. The business of deforestation. This is the least interesting part. Not wasting the X on the leaves. Get out of here. It's gonna need wood for a lot of things. First off, the tools. Second, torches. Guaranteed it's gonna take more than just three pickaxes to get what I'm looking for. Time to diversify my portfolio so I can grow my dividends and other investing jargon. I'll probably just use the birch to make charcoal and then use the oak for all the crafting. Now, theoretically, that should be enough. Change all the oaks into planks. Change these into sticks. And make myself a few pickaxes. And a couple of shovels. Take the crafting table with us. Gonna need that for later. Alright, so need a good starting point. The first thing I want to do, find some stone and make some pickaxes out of it. The good thing is we're pretty low already. Ah, oh, that looks like a good spot right there. It's a bit late on the uh, recipe update. They're just telling me because I jumped in the water. Hey, dummy, get a boat. Alright, good spot. Good spot. Oh, this is andesite. Get the uh, cobble. See, there's the achievement for the Stone Age. Shut up, sheep. You too. You're lucky I don't need any wool for this. Alright, so nine. So, now we pull out the crafting table. Make ourselves a furnace. Boop, 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 done. Now we can make ourselves some charcoal. And while that's cooking, let me get some more cobble. So I'm going to start with three wooden pickaxes and then make three stone pickaxes. Found some coal. Let's get back up. You could make a coal block if you wanted to. Maybe for storage purposes? Or maybe you could power furnaces for longer if one coal block counts as eight coals. So if you put a stack of coal blocks in a furnace, it would last the same length of time as eight stacks of coal. This is a massive vein of coal. Oh, I don't even need the charcoal now. Getting down to the last few coal blocks now. Well, I have plenty of torches, though. Oh, 
pull this out. Might as well use it. Doesn't hurt. And some more sticks. Done. So, don't need the axe anymore. Set that over there. Break that apart. Break this apart. Put the coal away. Put that there. Alright. Time to get to digging. First, some light. So we're currently at a Y of 58. I believe we need to get to 14 for diamond. So the easiest method, stairs. Tried and true. Ooh, and found some iron. Not necessarily helpful because the goal is just to find diamond. Not really doing a full playthrough on this world. First pickaxe down. That's also not helpful. Now Minecraft's gone silent. They do that for suspense so they can hit you with the spooky sounds. Stupid zombos. Get out of here. Shut up. Mind your business. I'm gonna get the diamonds. You're not. You're dead. What are you gonna do with them? Nothing. Gravel. And copper. Also useless. Alright, so. And I hear a stupid Enderman. Everyone's just out to take the diamond from us. There are diamonds. Are precious. I'll stay out of them. Stay. Get. Go on. Get your own diamonds. You just settle for the redstone. Pretty fancy. It's a nice shade of red. Oh, gee whiz. They are all down there. So that is not going to be fun. Nope, y'all stayed there. So that gravel is all ready to come down. Oh shit, get it back right the hell up. There's a creeper right there. He's pretty close to exploding, too. Gonna have to block off that side right there so they can't get to me. Yeah, mind your business, too. Y'all way too nosy. Got one of the Zambos, at least. Got anything to waste? I got cobble to waste. Get. Get. And your business. You don't learn, do you? A bit of a glutton for punishment. There. Stay dead. I sort of remind some of this useless uh, andesite. Build a bridge. Gravel is not going to be very helpful in that regard. Oop. And more gravel. This is a death trap. That is even more gravel. And more of this. Any more gravel? Yep, tons. This whole thing is just nothing but gravel. You stay in there. Don't even think about coming out. Let's 
scumbag. Time to get some more blocks in case I have to trap some monsters. Because I don't have the resources to make armor, and I don't feel like plopping down the crafting table to make weapons. So it's not going to be easy going. Usually it's nice to find a shaft like this, because it makes the digging faster. But not when it's full of monsters. And zombies. Ah, oh, this is what the axe would be good for. Come on. You too. You're gonna get the same as your friend. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back now, y'all. Come on. Feel like a twisted Arby's. I have the meats, but they're rotten. Yeah, you, you just don't worry about it. I don't look at you, you don't look at me. We have an agreement? I'd shake your hand, but he'd probably just try to kill me. We just stay to our own. Mind our own business. Don't worry about it. There we go. That's your half of the cave, this is my half. I'm just gonna dig this way, hope you don't mind. And getting these the really granite diorite. Diorite blocks, good resources for later. And with all of that, still at 33. I only gotta go halfway down. And should be in diamond range. I got plenty of torches. Only have to put one torch every ten blocks down. Eight to ten. Just have to wait to hear that blurbling of lava. Also, dirt seems to appear farther down now. Really strange. It used to be more of like a surface only thing. Another pickaxe. There are more skeletons. At least so far it's only been the dumb zombies. One creeper trying to creep on me. Pulled a Bob the Builder and walled him in. Hiss at me, turn you into boots. What do you think about that? And torch. We're down to 17. So go down three more, and it'd be time to start hunting. One. Two. Ah, oh, there's that creepy cave sound. The earth just breathing into your ear holes. Hey, how's it going? It's me, Mother Nature. More gravel. Break, break. Give me a break. Ooh, I hear lava. So that I hear the lava, be careful. It's coming from this way. And this problem could dig any of these sides and it could just start flowing. Interesting. So, start by digging the bottom. Let's 
Save me lava and just absolutely book it. Gravel makes it kind of dangerous. Alright. And so there's no lava going to come dripping down from here. Otherwise it would show up on the block. You can safely dig these. Those done. You can now dig these pieces. Very careful, very precise work. What would be interesting is if they added another lava mechanic. So now you can see little drips coming from blocks if there's lava on top of them. So what if they made blocks glow if they were touching lava? So you'd know if you're about to dig into the side of a lava pool. That'd be very helpful. Definitely sounds like it's coming from here. Oh, there's some redstone. Is that generally a close to lava thing? Can't remember. But might as well place these down. Give another stone pickaxe. Eh, why not get another one? And now, more sticks and we can smelt this iron one two there you go so we'll leave the furnace to smelt that iron and continue the search in the meantime so i've got the redstone which is pretty much useless for this and love is pretty loud should only be a few blocks away So, now that i found the lava, I just have to plug this hole real quick so I don't accidentally burn myself to death. So I'll just take some of this excess cobble. The lava's on this level right here, so I just gotta mine around it. That's where I have this one little lava. Single lava block in the middle of nowhere. I just will cover up this up. Nope, so I don't walk into there that. Open this up. There shouldn't be any monsters in here with the amount of light, but if there are, there's plenty of lava to push them into, or for them to push me into. So, I'd rather just avoid that. Also, there's another lava source block over there, and so cap off this one so that I can actually get to the ground and explore. This weird cobwebby looking thing on these blocks. Still haven't figured that out. Maybe with shears. But I don't really want to use shears on them, because I'd use up all the iron that I have. Ooh, that's a skeleton. No solicitors, no skeletons, and absolutely no soliciting skeletons. You stay over there, live your best afterlife. I'll be out here renovating the place because it's a death trap. These individual lava source blocks are basically a waste of time, but over there, a pool of lava, that has potential. First, I have to seal off this tunnel so I don't risk getting snuck up on. Not taking any chances. There they are. Beautiful, beautiful diamonds. And it only took 19 minutes. If you don't count the other three runs I did where I spent 45 minutes of time and still didn't find any. So now I just have to mine the diamonds. I have those three iron in the furnace so I can make myself the iron pickaxe I need. So, just have to get back to the furnace. Take these iron. Make my pickaxe. 
And now I just gotta go back and build myself a bridge or something to get to the diamonds. Fastest way, probably be around the other side. It's a good thing I have all the excess cobble I need. Probably start here. Don't necessarily have to fill the whole thing, but if I fill more of it, I'm more safe. That's what we call strategic analysis. And it's also a good thing that all these little bits of lava that pop up and blurble at you don't set you on fire. I know they can set the surfaces of blocks on fire, but that's extremely rare. Or is it that they just light wooden blocks on fire? Maybe that's it. I'm coming. So close. Yet so far away. Don't worry, I'll save you from all this nasty lava. I won't let you get burned. Ah, the music kicks in. The victory music. Acknowledging my success. It is inevitable. Shut up, zombie. You're just jealous. I've got diamonds and you don't. Almost got diamonds anyway. Still being way cautious. As you know, could fail at the very last second. I've seen the compilations. There could be lava right behind this wall. Or behind this gold. Nope. Okay, that's safe. Now we have the diamond. It's official. Speed run over. I win. Might as well take the rest of them, though. A little greed never hurt anyone. Mine around the back of all these blocks. Make sure there's no lava back here. Yeah, slowly. Oh, I knew it. Well, of course, because I didn't fill in the lower level of lava, just the top layer. But if I want to get this diamond, I gotta re I gotta fill in the bottom layer. There. Now. Now is the time. Now that it is so beyond safe. One more. And with that, I've completed the goal of finding and obtaining diamond slightly faster than average. Not really an official speedrun of any sort, but a kind of little challenge thing just to see how fast it can be done. And with that, I'm going to leave the video here. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.